A few weeks ago, I reviewed two compact super zoom cameras, a PowerShot SX70HS from Canon and Lumix FZ82 from Panasonic. You can find the links to those videos on the screen right now. I have chosen these two because you can get either of those without breaking the bank and the huge zoom range on them allows for a wide variety of applications when shooting outdoors. So in this video, I'm going to directly compare the two and show you some sample photos. When I first thought about making this video, I thought it's going to be a very easy one. Guys, get the Lumix, it does roughly the same thing and costs the half price. However, what's true on paper not always stands in the real life. Let's start with comparing some technical stats. They're both compact cameras, meaning they have a tiny sensor with 5.6 crop factor and that means they're both going to be poor in low light conditions. Uh, Canon has a 20 megapixel sensor, while Panasonic has 18 megapixel sensor, so Canon will produce slightly higher resolution image, however that image probably gonna be more noisy since you're packing more pixels in the same tiny space. They both have an optical image stabilization, which is very handy when you're dealing with such a large equivalent focal length, and there are other few advantages uh, on the side of Canon, however Canon is more expensive out of the two, so I'm calling that round a draw. Round number two, build quality, and that one goes to Canon hands down. Uh, very good materials, good build quality, well put together, good EVF, very good impression, and, and, and it's just pleasure to have it in hands. Uh, Panasonic on the other hand, poor plastic, poorly put together, everything is clicky, the EVF is appalling, and quite frankly, it's a little bit disappointing. Route number three, video quality, and this one has to go to Panasonic. Even though the Panasonic doesn't have a flip-out screen, the screen is fixed on the back, so you'll have a problem filming yourself. However, uh, right out of the box, without changing any settings, the Panasonic produces better quality video. Having said that, Video from Canon is uh, kind of flatter, so perhaps you can get more out of it if you color grade it, if you do some post-processing. But I don't think that people aiming at the camera at this price point, they have a will or skill or software to do color grading or this sort of uh, editing. Uh, they want to have a good video straight out of the camera, so Panasonic wins. And now, what matters most in the camera, image quality. It's worth mentioning that Canon does shoot RAW format, so that gives you more options in post, but just look at those sample photos. They both look good, they're sharp, the colors are good. However, if you zoom in, images from Canon look sharper and less noisy, even though it has a more megapixels in the same tiny sensor. How does that work? I don't know, but the image quality round goes to Canon. And finally, the value for money. Like I said, the Panasonic is significantly cheaper out of the two, so perhaps that round should go to Panasonic for the overall draw. However, taking into account the whole package, the build quality, how nice it is to hold each camera in your hands, and the main job for the camera, which is taking photos, I feel like that round has to go to Canon. Um, my belief is that there's no point buying something that is cheaper and be happy about it, but as a result, having product that is ever so slightly substandard. So overall, I feel like Canon is the winner. I'd rather have that camera, even though I know it's slightly overpriced. But I'm curious about your opinion, so leave the comments down below. Thanks for watching, like the video, and subscribe to the channel because more videos are coming.